Hey, this is Sinister. Um, I'm showing you how to make the armor on a character, make it a different color to match the background. So, I'm going to be using this background right here. It's like the flames or whatever. And I'm using Baird. I'm going to make his armor, his goggles look this color. It's orangish. So, first, you got to use this thing. It's called the magnetic lasso tool. You can use the other one, but this one's easier. You just like click anywhere on the shoulder and you drag it along the body. It's probably be easier if you zoomed in, but I'm just gonna do it like this. So um, uh, and if you mess up, you can just hit delete. Like that. Uh, I'll start talking again when I'm done. <coughs> And I'm not going to do the best job right now because this is just for all you people out there. So I'm just going to like click randomly. <coughs> I'm going to make sure I get most of it though. Oh. Do this as fast as possible. Alright, when you're done, you click on this arrow with the crosshair thing, and you drag it onto this picture, and you put it wherever you want. I'm just going to put them right here. And then, to change the color of his armor or whatever you want to call that, you go to this thing, the uh, rectangular marquee tool, whatever that means, and you go... You draw like a square as close to him as you can, just barely over his head or whatever. You go to select, color range, and you select the color you want to change first. So I'm going to do this and look up, all like the brighter it is, the more you're going to change over that. So you want to make it just the stuff you want to change, barely visible. Oh, see, i got to redo it. So if you want to read undo, you just press Control z Redo color range and make this up a little bit more. Shed more. Yep, there we go. Then you choose the color you want to change it to, so I'm just going to do that color, I guess. It doesn't matter. And you use the paintbrush tool, the brush tool, and you just color on the spots you want to change. Let's see. Zoom in and do the goggles with a smaller brush. Yeah. I downloaded it. Um, that's pretty much it. It's that easy. If you wanted, you could uh, change like more of the armor. See, like these little darker spots down here. You could probably change that to color range. Blah blah blah. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do that. Could if you wanted, though. That's how you do it. And then, like, if you wanted to make him faded in the background, you would go duplicate layer, name him whatever. So I'm gonna name Baird Copy. And then make sure Baird Copy is under the actual one. You change the opacity down. So like in the 40s range, you just wow, what the, what the fuck? And then you just kind of drag it up like that, and then you can mess with it, like.
changing this stuff. I'm just using the down arrow. I think that looks pretty cool right there. So does this one. A lot of these do. It's like one of my favorite ones is Luma Luminosity. <coughs> but yeah, you can just do whatever the hell you want with it, I guess. So yeah, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe too, if you could, please. And send me your clips for top five clips of the week. That'd be great.